Right, here they come. This is my last chance to try and hit them whilst going down this. Go. Go. Oh, it's never going to happen. It is never going to happen. Oh! Oh, my God. That's just the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. My life's been, you know, uh, for the most part, not that many achievements. Not filled with achievements. Not not jam-packed, you know. Uh, that, that there ranks at the top. You know, getting married. Pff, put it on the back burner. I just did that. That was amazing. Beardo Benjo. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Something weird is happening uh, to one of my favorite uh, VR games of all time, Hell Split Arena. Now, this is uh, literally my favorite physics-driven combat arena scenario type VR game. I prefer this over Blade and Sorcery, and I do love Blade and Sorcery, but I prefer this because I love the dark fantasy aesthetic. I love the creatures that you fight and the environments that you fight them in. Oh my god, are you alright? Okay, his whole neck's split open. Let's just get rid of his... Oh, okay. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Oh, there we go. Now, the environments you fight them in, the creatures themselves, are just so aligned with the aesthetics that I enjoy. It's very Dark Souls in that way, just the way everything looks. Gameplay-wise, couldn't be any different from Dark Souls, but in terms of uh, the creatures, the environments, yeah, there's a huge amount of FromSoft in here. Oh my god, you're still alive! What the hell is wrong with you? Okay. There we go, he's dead. Now, something weird, as I say, is happening to this game. Since its inception, it's always been a, a melee-driven fighting game. So, players uh, were given... Jesus! Why did I do this while fighting? Players were given... There we go. Swords, shields, axes, uh, hammers, clubs, that kind of stuff to fight the enemies off with. You are bleeding from your neck, sir. That will definitely kill you. You are bleeding out. You should not be standing. You should be sitting down. Sit down. S sit down. Dude, sit down! <laughs> Mate, one slightly tough blow to the head. My head's coming off! Recently, we were given a horse as well, which we can ride on in some of the bigger outdoors levels. And with that update also came bows and arrows. So, ranged combat started to make its way into the game. But today, in this update that I am previewing for you... Ah! <gasps> He's still alive! No! 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 In this update <laughs> that I am previewing today, things have gone up a level. Now, in Hell Split Arena, we have guns. That's right, guns. Lovely, shooty guns to shoot people with. Don't stop trying to arrow me. Nope. Uh, stay there. Oh, is he dead? He's dead now. These are absolutely ridiculous, and they changed the game. Completely. However, they are quite cumbersome to use. So to reload one of these bad boys, there's a whole process of... Uh, oh no, bro. No. Uh, cock it, cock it, cock it. There we go. There's a whole process that goes into it. So it isn't as simple as just pulling these things out and absolutely annihilating every enemy uh, within the level. Although they do absolutely annihilate everyone within the level. Uh, but it's such a weird thing to see uh, come to a game that, up to now, has been very dark, medieval, melee-based fantasy. Oh, I fired that shot. Sorry, I fired early. Uh, uh, oh no, I promise I'm not normally this premature. Uh, right, I hate you, I hate you. There we go, thank you very much. It's so weird. It's like some kind of Dark Souls Call of Duty crossover, and I... <laughs> I do fundamentally absolutely love it, but I'm interested to see how this goes down with the community and the people who love this game the most. Cock it! Cock it! <laughs> to be honest, I think people are going to love it, because what is not to love when it's just more ridiculous ways to kill these creatures? Cock it back. Thank you. Now, I do wish... <sighs> All of the... There we go. I do wish all of the actions 
for reloading were manual, but currently they're not. Okay, let's take a closer look at these guns. First up is the pistol. Now, as I just mentioned, you can't manually reload these. It's kind of half manual, half automatic. So let me show you what I mean. So with the pistol, it takes one of these buckshot rounds. Now you get bandoliers that you can wear on your waists now. So I've got buckshot on my right and I've got kind of, I think it's 25 millimeter ammo, 23 millimeter bullets on my left. Now to reload the pistol, you insert the buckshot. The character then performs an animation to finish pushing it in. So control of your hands is taken away from you at that moment and that usually for me is a big no-no then you press the trigger on your right hand or the left hand whichever hand you're holding the gun with the player then initiates another animation to cock the gun and then you can two hand all this although what's that pinky finger doing he's very very British that's more British than me uh, and then the second trigger pull fires the weapon so there's two animations within operating these guns which is kind of taken away from the player personally i would love to see it get to the point where i can cock that myself um and just popping the buckshot into the top and then letting go of it is enough for it to slot in and i can immediately get control of my hand again because there's a few seconds where control of my hand is taken away and it, it isn't long but for some people those animations as cool as they are pull you out of the immersion because you're no longer in control of the character you're supposed to be embodying. What is this finger doing? Dude! Okay, that's better. There we go. <laughs> so the guns are a little bit janky at the moment, but they're very cool. It's cool to see them in here. So you've got a pistol there, uh, the duplet, which I already showed you, which I think is somewhere in the level still, because, ah, there it is. This is the duplet. It's kind of like a little sawn-off shotgun type thing. So with this, you put in two of the 25 mil bullets. You can flick it closed. You cock it back. Again, animations, and you get two shots out of this one. Then you've got the hand cannon, which again, we've already had a little look at. This one is a buckshot into the front there. Cock it back. Give it a grip. Big explosion. Lovely. Jovely. Then you've got a rifle, which comes equipped with... A little bit of a bayonet on the front there, so you can, uh, yeah, you can impale your enemies before you shoot them. You can flick that one as well. Again, needs to be cocked back, and then you take aim and fire. <laughs> it's so weird seeing guns in this game. And then finally, you have the sniper rifle, which works pretty much the same as the normal rifle, except instead of having the bayonet on the front, you do have a scope. And the scope seems to work pretty well. I mean, let's. What can I see? Have a look on that. See if I can hit that bottle. Oh, got to cock it. That did not hit the bottle. I don't know where that shot actually went. Um, couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. Maybe the scope isn't as good as I first thought it was. But yeah, sniper rifles <coughs> now also in the game cock it. You gotta cock it. I always forget to cock and cock it. There we go. Right, let's start this fairly traditionally with some double axes, you know? I love a little double axe setup. Always gets me going on a Tuesday morning. There you go, take that. Whoa! Okay, give me them back. Float to me, axe. Float to me. You're supposed to be able to throw these? Oh, uh, doesn't appear that you can. What in the... What's going on with these bloody axes? Not quite a leviathan axe, is it? Right, throw. Okay, well, it hit him at the very least. Ah! Oh, my lord. Right, I'm sick of you. Hey! Ah! Take that. Can I shoot him off the end? Can I shoot him off the end? <laughs> no, I hadn't cocked the gun! Hey, hey. Oh, no, not quite. Hey! Oh, no, not quite. You. Uh, no, not quite. Right, it's going to be you then. Oh, what the f Okay, that was cool. Okay, you can shoot into them. Oh, when they're on the bayonet. But now I have no ammo. And now uh, I have no ammo. That was such a cool arrow deflect. I mean, I don't want to... Cock it! <laughs> I'm never going to get over the bloody cock in the guns. <laughs> uh, that was an amazing arrow deflect. Oh, that we saw there. I just want to reflect on that for a minute. I might put a slow-mo in the... Uh, 
in the video edit because I just loved it so much. Okay, let's go up here. Can you guys figure out that I'm upstairs? I mean, can you even come up here to get me? Or can I just sit here and pick you off one by one? Is that now... Is that now an option? Don't figure it out! Hey! Whoa! I'm not the smartest of the bunch. There we go. You can try all you want, mate, but you're not going to get me. You can try all you want. But until you figure out how to use stairs, I am safe. Safe as houses. Stand down here so I can get you with a bayonet. That's it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Bayonet not quite working as it should. But the gun component working beautifully. Almost too well, I'd say. Can I climb on that? Is there now climbing stuff on this level? Has there always been climbing stuff on this level? Or have they added them? Oh, sugar! To the new update. What the f... What happened down there? Who died and why did they die? Okay. Well, that's that's a thing. How do we swing? <laughs> I actually don't know how to swing. Oh, here we go. I think I'm swinging. No, I don't. Ah, no. Okay. Ah, shit. Arrow through the neck, bro. That wasn't even me that did that. That was a friend. Ah. Pistol. Hello. There we go. Oh, God. Okay. Give, give, give. Give. Load it. That's it. Cock it back. No. Stop. Oh, piss. Ah! Give me that bomb. That is not a bomb. That is a banana. Dick. Um. Okay, hold on. Take that. Gonna Captain America the shit. Oh, that did not work anywhere near as good as it does in the Marvel movies. Ah! Their effects budget is way more impressive than mine. Okay. Can I get a two for one? Oh, it did knock that guy back. Don't know if he can kill two. What the? That was so cool! I think it was unintentional. No, I'll take that. He's not dead. He's not dead. Come on. Get that there. Whoa. Bugger off you. In your armpit. Right, you. Oh my god, he's still going. He is still going. Utterly ridiculous. Die. Right, that'll do. He's well dead. There we go. Am I done? Did I survive? Nope, this fella's still alive. Whoa! There we go. I made it. I'm the king of the castle, and now there's not even a single enemy around. Okay, so the parkour in this is very cool. A little bit wonky, though. So when I'm on the chain, you can literally pull your arm back and forward to swing the chain forward and back. Now, coming off of it, you don't often make that as a jump. But if you grab hold of the edge of this, no, that edge, there we go, and that edge there. If you do a sharp pull, I hope this works, it should pull you up onto the ledge. Look at that, that's actually quite slick. And that means there's now an element of verticality in these levels that was kind of never there before. Um, take this! Oh, I want to hit that barrel thing. Can I, oh, alright, piss off. Right, aim, aim good, aim true. Yay! That was fun. Right, let's kill some more people. Welcome to the bridge. Now this is the new arena that's just been added to the game with this update and uh, once again the devs have completely outdone themselves. These maps get cooler and cooler. Now it doesn't have the size necessarily of a map like the creek or the frozen lake which were really vast flat maps but it does have a huge amount of verticality so you can climb down into the lower portions of the bridge obviously with the climbing mechanics now you can climb back up you can go all over the place and that makes for some pretty crazy new fighting hello opportunities what the f dude you you're so gonna die there is no way come on there's no way that you're not gonna get hit by that right now here it comes how did you dodge that there is no chance. And your friend. This is dumb. This is dumb that you both survived that. Your AI is terrible. Right. Let's just get your head off. Oh, okay, maybe not. Back up, bro. Back up into that. Back up. That's it. That's it. <laughs> hey! That's what we like to see. That's what we paid for. That's why we're here. I'm really curious to know if these zombies can get down here. I don't think they can. Oh, he's dead. I don't think they've been given the gift of climbing. I think that's kind of unique to me. Uh, which means, you know, I'm at a little bit of an unfair advantage. Where are you, bro? Where are you? 
Oh, the sniper rifle. Oh, I really want to have like an epic sword fight on this bridge. Come on, mate. Let's do it. Me and you. Don't don't get that close. That's just ridiculous. Have a kick. That was the least epic thing that's ever happened to anyone. Oi. Oi. Come on. Get rid of that leg. Get rid of that leg. Stop it. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? What are you playing at? Get out there. Okay, he's dead. What about you? Come on. Me and you. Epic sword fight. Our very own duel of fates. Come on now. Let's do this. That was terrible. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Okay, calm down, son. Jesus Christ. Okay, I wanted it. He's giving it to me. He's bloody giving it to me, isn't he? Uh, mate, we can't uh, move much here. <coughs> I think all his limbs exploded off. All right, this guy doesn't want to fight me on the bridge, so I'm going to go to him. Hello, sir. How are we doing today? How are we feeling? We feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good. I'm feeling good. There goes your leg. Come here, you. Oi. Ah! Get over there. You got. You. You can't litter, right? If you kill somebody, you have to dispose of the body. That's the rule, mate. I'm a karate master. You don't want to mess with me. You do. All right, check this out. <laughs> I did warn him as a karate master. He didn't care. He did not care. Ah, hello. What the? F what are you doing here? Oh, okay. All right. Enemy hiding up there, just hanging out, having a great time. What a dickhead. What a dickhead. Oi. Stop it. Right. Um. I kind of want to maim you, but I don't want to kill you. Hold on. Hold on. Can I just hold on? Ah, hold on. Follow me. Come this way. Come this way. A bit further. That will do. You're not looking so good, are you? Right, let me put my sword away. Thank you. Okay, can I just grab you by the face? There we go. Can I bring you along with me? Can you come here. Uh, come here. Get out the floor. That's it. That's it. Come here. Right, mate. How do you feel about zip lines? Oh, I love them. Brilliant. Because you're going to go on one. Me and you are going to go on this one right now. I'm going to hold on to your head. So, just be careful. Be careful. Right, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Whee! Great fun, isn't it? Look at this. Look at it! Oh! Oh, bugger. Oh, God, I've gone back up the thing. Ah! Uh, I don't think he had as much fun as he hoped he was going to have. Right, I'm under the bridge now. How do I get back up? Okay. Ah! Alright, there's lots of ways back up, is there? Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Alright, up here. God, it really does feel like some kind of weird medieval Call of Duty all of a sudden when you get the sniper rifle out. Okay, there's a dude up there with his arrow. Look. Can I hit him from here? No, he didn't give a shit. Um, pop that in there. Flick that. Cock it. Hello, son. You're going to have to wait a sec. Hold on. Thank you. I'm determined to hit that guy. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Who was that? Where did that arrow come from? Right, me and this archer up here are having a comedy fight. Uh, he can't hit me. I can't hit him. Look, he's going wide every single time. Every single time. I'm in no danger right now. Not even a, a tiny little bit of danger. Every arrow past my head. But he's not in that much danger either because I can't hit him. No, missed again. Missed again. Bloody missed again, didn't I? Thing is, mate, I won't always miss. One of these days I'm going to hit you. Right, this is it. This is the one. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. He's bloody dead. That's it. It's over. Game over, son. Game over. He's not dead. What the? Excuse me. Did you survive that? You did. That's great. Okay, hold on. Oh, sorry. Let me just cock my gun. There we go. How about now? I think he's dead now. Now, this actually is quite a bit like Call of Duty Zombies. You know, I'm here defending... <laughs> defending my tower. Whilst all these zombies rock up one by one. Oh, you just survived that. Cheeky devil. Cheeky devil. Where are you? There you are. Didn't survive that one, did you? No. Every dog has his day. I have a very important question that I need to answer, and that is, can I grab hold of this? This terrifying axe. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to, but I have to test it. Here we go. Nope, I don't think so. 
Nope, my hands hit it, but it, uh, uh, no, run away, no, run away, run away, run away. Can't grab the axe. Put that in, devs. Put that in. I want to swing on the axe like a madman. I want to be like Miley Cyrus in Wrecking Ball, except with a big massive axe and not Miley Cyrus. Right, I'm going to leave it here. This has been an early look. Take that at the newest Hell Split. Oh my God, Hell Split Arena update. Ah, which brings ah, guns and parkour elements to the game, along with a new ah, map to facilitate said parkour elements. Although it does seem like you can climb, oh my god, in a lot of the environments now, if not all of them. Take that, explosive arrow. Hello, who are you? Why are you here? Where's my gun? Now, the guns are a strange addition, but they're not necessarily uh, an unwelcome uh, one. Oh my god, really? Really? Now, I would like to see the devs start to improve the AI of the enemies so that they start to climb when you climb. So if you disappear away from them by going higher, that doesn't end the fight. You know, they can climb up to find you. They can come get you. They can climb down to find you. I'd love to see that kind of whoa, verticality coming into the game rather than just the player character, oh my god, being able to run away and hide when the enemies turn up. However, it is, again, a great update for a uh, brilliant game. But, as I always say when I make a piece of Hellsplit Arena content, what we really want here is probably modding support, uh, which I do think is coming uh, at some point. A quest port of the game, because I know there is a quest audience chomping at the bit for something like this. And then, for people like me, uh, oh, who love the systems in this game, uh, but not necessarily the content. We do want some kind of story. You know, something to progress through. Ooh. Because these mechanics implanted and built into a story with gorgeous levels to progress through. Uh, and objectives uh, to try and accomplish. Yeah, that could be an absolute winner of a VR game. Okay, we have no arrows left. Bugger. Okay. Uh, beat them to death. Beat them to death with the bow and arrow, or just, you know, get the gun. I do hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, as always, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And I will be back very soon for another video. Come check out Hellsplit Arena. I believe this new update is available today. Hello. Oh, that missed him. Where'd that shot even go? The update should be available today, and you can come in and start shooting, shooting, shooting the enemies right in their big silly faces. Oh, for God's sake. Did he even die? I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. Stabilize. There we go. Oh, take care, guys. I'll see you very soon. For more, please do that. There we go. Take care. Goodbye.